I'm Peter Block in New Orleans at the AHA annual meeting. Uh, I come all the way to New Orleans to see Javid Butler, who is one of my colleagues at Emory in Atlanta. Javid, you've just uh, reported on the Athena trial, a trial using aldactone and uh, trying to see whether or not you can actually make patients even better using this drug. So tell me about the trial. So we know that low-dose spironolactone or plerinone in chronic heart failure patients have been shown to improve outcomes. The issue is in acute heart failure patients, can you use high-dose MRA therapy to combat diuretic resistance, have more urine output, decrease congestion, and, Im and improve outcomes? And this is particularly important not only because of the role of aldosterone in diuretic resistance, but more importantly because right now we have not a single known therapy that improves outcomes in acute heart failure patients. And in fact, when patients leave the hospital not really completely better, there's a lot of recidivism, isn't there? They come back to the hospital a lot. Absolutely. So this issue of persistent congestion, people go home with high BNP, subclinical congestion that drives their readmissions. Uh, on the other hand, the clinicians are kind of stuck because you don't want to give enough diuretics because then the creatinine bumps and what to do. So any ways and means by which we can have more effective congestion, which is safe, will likely improve outcomes for these patients, and that was tested. Okay, so you used high-dose spironolactone. Tell me what dose it was and tell me the outcomes. So we used 100 milligrams uh, within the first 24 hours of receiving IV diuretic therapy on admission to the hospital. And we did the intervention for four days. Our primary endpoint was looking at a difference in NT pro BNP level between usual care versus usual care with uh, high dose spironolactone. And then we looked at a whole bunch of secondary outcomes like uh, clinical congestion score, urine output, weight change, and some post discharge outcomes. Unfortunately, uh, we did not find any significant difference uh, in the primary endpoint of log-transformed nt pro BNP levels, nor did we find any differences in any of the secondary endpoints, including weight chain congestion. My initial sort of interpretation was that maybe there was a differential uh, up titration of loop diuretics in the placebo arm, but, but we did not see that signal either. It was the same usual care in both arms addition of spironolactone did not improve outcomes. You know, but as you're talking, uh, Javid, I'm thinking here, wait a minute, four days? I mean, that really is, I mean, it's a very pragmatic study. Can we turn things around very quickly? But I would think it would, might take longer. What's your take? If you had to take something positive back from this, what would you say? So there are two or three positives that we can take from this study. So one is that, you know, the average length of stay for heart failure hospitalization in the U.S. is about 4.6 days. Hence, we targeted four days because that's about the average length of stay. Uh, the second thing is there was actually a lot of concern about doing this study because people were concerned that in acute heart failure, their GFR is changing, their blood pressure is changing. There was a safety concern. So we did not find any safety concern with use of 100 milligrams per electron. So that at least opens the door for future further research. So the two key questions that we get out of this is, was 100 milligram not enough? Should we have used 200 milligram like cirrhosis uh, doctors do? Or, or should we target it to people who are actually diuretic resistant? Maybe this is a drug that you use as a rescue therapy three days into hospitalization, then up for an in the emergency room. Uh, so certainly we'll keep pushing. Okay, so Javid says he's going to keep looking, and I'm sure we'll find an answer sooner or later. My guess a longer-term trial might give you some answers too. Thank you, Javid. My pleasure.